A battle group is a combined arms team. The collection of component parts that together is able to respond to a series of threats. Instead of just having one type of element, for example, infantry units or artillery units, a battle group is a mixture of those various combat arms. What we provide here is a really potent force that is able to not only deter, but then defeat uh, an aggressor. In 2014, Russia violated Ukrainian sovereign territory by aggressively and illegally annexing the Crimean Peninsula. Allies responded by strengthening their defences. And then at the NATO summit in Warsaw in 2016, they announced the deployment of four battalions to the eastern part of the alliance. These battalions will be robust and they will be multinational. And they make clear that an attack on one ally would be considered an attack on the whole alliance. Those battalions, known as NATO's multinational battle groups, were deployed in each of the Baltic states, Estonia, Latvia and Lithuania, and also in Poland. Estonia sits as the most northern Baltic country in a very sort of strategic region. And if you look at Tallinn, opposite Helsinki, it, it, it's the gateway to the Gulf of Finland and therefore into St. Petersburg. So just where Estonia sits in itself is, is of importance. And that's why there is that onus on making sure that we've got the right defensive capabilities, not just in Estonia, but within the Baltics. By 2017, all four multinational battle groups were in place, installed primarily as a deterrence measure, but also combat ready and deployable at short notice if required. Our first priority is always readiness. So when we get here, we put the team together and we make sure that all elements of the battle group are ready to go out the door uh, if required. Obviously our principal mission is deterrence and we do that uh, by our presence here, consistent training, but we always have to be ready to accomplish that defend part of the mission, uh, which is really our readiness and ability to uh, project our forces as required. Each battle group has a lead nation. In Estonia, that's the United Kingdom. In Latvia, Canada, in Lithuania, Germany, and in Poland, the United States, which are then supplemented by a number of contributing nations, each of which provide their own set of skills and capabilities. Within our command post, all nine nations are represented. All nine nations are represented within each of the, uh, the subunits, each country providing different capacities to the battle group. And each of the contributing nations brings forward a component that adds to the defensive posture of that battle group. So we really are the sort of the sum of all the parts, and that's what we draw our strength from, and all the strengths and capabilities that those nations offer. It's one of the, the most rewarding uh, missions you can have as an, uh, an army, an armed force. I believe it's an amazing concept when you bring all the, the countries together um, under one uh, unified um, command structure and everyone has a singular purpose. Being NATO allies, we have a lot of common tactics, techniques, procedures, and whatever is not common, we're able to sort out relatively quickly once we get on the ground. And while the battle groups are primarily land focused, they work with other regional NATO assets to ensure the Alliance is also protected at sea and in the skies. We work very closely with NATO's maritime assets in the Baltic region and likewise with the air assets that support us here, whether that be through the Baltic Air Police or air capabilities coming in from the broader alliance into the region. On February the 24th, 2022, the security landscape in Europe was shattered as Russian forces conducted an unprovoked, brutal invasion of Ukraine. For the battle groups, that meant a status of high alert. So the events starting in uh, February 24th have obviously brought additional focus to our mission. Uh, we see that the, the threat is real and we see the conflict in Ukraine playing out as it is now. So our soldiers come with a, a renewed focus to maintain readiness and definitely be, uh, be ready at all times. We're constantly varying the geometry of, of the battle group to make sure that we've got those capabilities that are relevant and current and able to defend not just Estonia, but the wider region. 
Russia's invasion of Ukraine also prompted NATO to deploy four more battle groups in Bulgaria, Hungary, Romania and Slovakia. So we have eight uh, multinational uh, NATO battle groups from the uh, Baltic Sea to the Black Sea. You're expanding upon that current footprint. So now instead of having it just in the, the north, you know, east uh, of the NATO region, now you're spreading it all the way down to the southeast. I and mean, you're creating that barrier, if you will, against any aggression all the way through the region. Having these multinational battle groups in place, ready to go right now, sends a message that we're here, we're ready, and that we can respond to any aggression as it would happen. And the fact that we're able to work so effortlessly and seamlessly together and able to integrate is a clear demonstration of the, of the cohesive nature of the Alliance and the unity that we have. And that underscores our collective defence of us being able to work together. And it underpins Article 5 in that you have a, a, a unified and collective response to a threat against a single member.